Personally, I don't mind when a company changes the way that you use their products. As long as they give a lot of options as to how you can still use their products, I'm all right. My problem is when companies will kind of dumb down their product and give you less options all around. Now, from the company's perspective, giving you less options makes more sense because the more you have to contact customer support or any sort of help at all that isn't something completely automated, it costs that company money. For instance, Verizon or any other uh, any other uh, cell phone uh, wireless provider, I should say. Every time you talk to one of their customer service representatives, and not just their automated system, it costs them somewhere around 14 bucks. Every time. Every time you talk to a customer service representative, it's costing them somewhere around 14 bucks. Now that kind of means if you really, really wanted to get back at some company that you're pissed at, you could probably call them once or twice a day, every day for a month, and you'd, you know, you'd cost them well over $300 just out of doing that. Um, it's why so many of them have these surveys that you take after, you know, you talk with one of their customer service representatives. It's really important to them that people have to talk with their customer service representatives less. Um, now there's companies that just don't do it right from the very start, like uh, PayPal. <laughs> you, you seldom get uh, the things that you need to uh, take care of done in just one call. <laughs> it's usually two or three calls to get anything done. I don't know how they're working that out, but you know. Um, but so. But a lot of companies are taking this this sort of route. It, it's sort of, <clears throat> I hate to put a partial, at least a partial blame on a company, but one of the first companies te technology-wise to start really, really shoving forth this sort of concept was Apple, has been Apple. Um, you know, Apple wants you to use their product a sp specific way. Um, They've gotten a little bit better on their computers in that regard, but you know, one of the reasons why Apple doesn't release their OS for non-Apple hardware is because right now there is an, a very finite set of com of hardware configurations that are even possible if it's an official if they're official Apple products that their customer service representatives have to deal with. Um, Microsoft, with their introduction uh, to, you know, of, of Windows 8, uh, was trying to do some of that same thing, but they kind of, I'm sorry, they failed miserably at it because they couldn't even get the things that are supposed to just work the way they want you to use them. They couldn't even get those things working right. So, um... But that's why, you know, most of these these modern slash metro, however you want to call them, they're really modern. That's what they're, they're called. That's their interface. The modern apps are so limited in their options. You know, they do what people generally need, but their customizability is uh, very limited. Um, But uh, going back to where I was originally trying to go with this is uh, Google continually changing their interfaces for things. Okay, they want to remain fresh. They also have a vision. Sometimes when they have uh, tried to implement one of their visions, it doesn't quite go over the way that they had wished. So then they have some other vision and we'll try to push that forth. Well, that wasn't working as well as we thought. Let's go for this vision. Um, 
One of the things that Google is trying to do with all of their products, and they've, they've already done it on these, at least for the most part, is switch to the material design philosophy as to the way the apps are, the, are, are, are laid out. Um, you know, I'm, you can, I'm sure you can look up the phrase material design and find tons of stuff. You, you can find out all about it. Um, but they haven't really done that to their, their websites yet. They haven't really done that to them yet. They've hinted at it here and there, but it still hasn't been fully converted over to that. And I think YouTube is going to be one of their, I mean, since it's one of their, even though they don't make very much money on it, um, it is one of their flagship products that a lot of people use. Um, they're going to make that one of the first things they do on the internet, on the web, to, uh, to switch over to that material design philosophy. And, uh, So you're going to see a number of things where it doesn't look like you have the option, but then you'll see some little icon somewhere and you click that and all oh, the option will go, whoosh, it'll just kind of go, whoosh, it'll, it'll, it won't make the sound, you know, but, uh, you know, obviously, but it will, um, it will just sort of smoothly go into some mode and then you can do whatever it is you need to at that point. And I think a bunch of their things on their, on YouTube will become that way. Um, at least that's how I'm picturing it. Because <laughs> uh, if, if I compare it to the way that they've done things on these, it just seems, if, if you, and you look into the material design philosophy, that just seems to be where they're going with this. The, uh, all the fonts are probably going to be different. Um, it's going to be a cleaner looking interface. It's going to be uh, larger fonts hopefully easier to read um, not nearly taking the extreme that Microsoft has with with their Windows 8.1 and Windows 10 kind of stuff where you just have tons and tons of tons of empty space with with just this tiny little thing there that, that has a word yeah they're, they're not going to go to those extremes they're not they're not stupid <laughs> I think Microsoft has made a lot of mistakes in in the areas of design but um, but you know, they've, they've taken, Microsoft has taken some chances. They've, they've been like, well, we're going to try this. Well, I guess that was too extreme. And then everyone looks to them as, uh, well, they got this right, but they got everything else wrong. So, um, but companies also, you know, besides this thing of them having visions, a new vision of some sort. Companies want to remain fresh. Nice. They don't want their product to stagnate. And one of the easiest ways to see that a product is fresh, so don't you get fresh with me. is if the interface changes. Um, you can't really deny that. And we may not like a lot of these changes that they make to the interfaces, but we eventually get used to them. Every one of these changes that they have made, the majority of people have eventually gotten used to. A lot of people will look back and say, oh, the good old days of this. And then you say, yeah, well, what about this and this and this and this? These, all these things were missing. Oh, but, 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 yeah, but whatever. You know? <laughs> Um, you know, my problem is like what they've done to uh, the subscriptions page and I've talked about this before you know you can't they want you to only look at a select set of, uh, of, of, of videos. They don't want you to, to be able to just continue scrolling and continue scrolling and continue scrolling and have, you know, a list of 500 videos to look through. No, they want this set, this certain set of things. Um, and it's part of this element of trying to force customers to look at their product a certain way. 
Um, you know, some of that some of that mindset has happened in games, uh, where you know, even one player games, like I, I've talked about before, where uh, there are some one player games where you have to create an account to still play that one player game. I'm talking about on the PC. On on consoles, it's kind of always been this way, and you, and you know you're stuck using it the way they want you to. But on the PC, you know they force you to create an account, and then if they catch you using a memory hack utility, or they 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 catch you trying to mod it too much, they lock you out of your account, and then you have to buy another copy of the game. Yeah, this makes sense for multiplayer stuff, but for single player, it's it's just like damn, that's lame but I guess I can understand from their perspective if if they want people to talk to cust customer service less um, they want to have to deal less directly with the public then they will lock these things down this way it makes sense from their perspective I hate it I really hate it, but that makes sense from their perspective. <clears throat> so, you know, it gets again the same reasons why when you call for customer service for almost any product, they're going to try to get you go to go through the automated system or some of the menuing and all that first before you could ever talk with an actual uh, live person. And the larger the company, the more standardized the cost is for when you actually do talk to a, a real person. I guess I'm just rambling now. I, I guess this 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 video doesn't have that much of a point, but um, <clears throat> I'll just repeat some things I've said before. You know, Google is out there to make money. That's their their main their main agenda. Um, they want to strike some sort of balance of them making money and still being something that's acceptable for the customers. And they want it to be something that always looks fresh so the customers will always think it's something new. And so, you know, I mean, things that they're, they're, they have coming up, they're going to be having it so you can pay money pay Google money so you don't have to watch the ads. There's also going to be a bunch more uh, subscription kinds of services that you pay for. Um, <clears throat> something I've never understood why they do it this way is, you know, why make it so someone even has the ability to turn off ads? I would think that they would have every video have ads on them and then if you you know uh, get the ability to monetize your stuff then then you get a cut of it but otherwise they get the full cut of it but they don't do it that way and that's just always kind of confused me it's like that's a major money making opportunity they have there that they're not taking I mean maybe there maybe it's this this thing where they're they're scared that if they did that then everyone would use ad block or something, you know. I don't know. You know, I don't know. You don't know. I don't know. Um, there are known knowns and there are unknown knowns. Okay, let's go into that speech. <laughs> anyway, I guess this video is long enough. Ooh.